Good morning. Welcome here. Welcome to William is down here waving his arm. Welcome to another video in my decluttering my entire house series. I don't even remember what episode we're on, but so far we have done most of the upstairs. We've gone through the kitchen, my closet, toys. Today we're basically focusing on every area upstairs that has not yet been touched. So closets, bedrooms, mudroom, bathrooms. Hello. Basically everything on this half of the house. My primary focus is going to be the closets. Excuse me. Focusing on areas that we kind of just shove stuff into and try to forget about. So join us today as we declutter our home. I hope this gives you some motivation to do this for yourself. I will say I have noticed ever since starting to declutter our home, it's been so much easier to maintain. It's been a lot less stressful. It's just, it just feels good. It feels good to get rid of stuff we don't need. So. This is where we're going to start. This is our entrance closet. This is where guests would hang up their uh, coats. We also have board games, some random things like linen bags. We use this also as a cleaning closet. Zach installed a plug in here when we first moved in. So we use it to store like our mop, or vacuum, stuff like that. My biggest thing is just going through all this stuff up here, seeing what it is, what we can get rid of, and if there's a better way to organize it. Basically, I just don't want to be embarrassed when guests come over and open up this closet and see our cluttered, cluttered storage space. So yeah. let's deal with that. That is a lot of stuff. It is. perfect spot to store extra folding chairs for when we have guests over and need extra seating so I moved those guys up here. This closet doesn't look a whole lot different than it did in the beginning but it is more organized. I have decluttered a lot of linen bags from there. I have organized all of the like extra vacuum cleaner parts and made sure all of the pieces are where they belong for the board games. They're not missing anymore. That is one space. Done. Zach is busy working in the kids' room. He's trimming out their closet. We officially have a closet door now, so this project's finally getting done, and when it's done, we have a new makeshift closet system from Ikea that we're going to try installing, transferring all their clothes from their wardrobe to the closet, so that when William moves in here, there'll be space for him here. So there's lots to do in this room yet, but he's busy in here. I'm going to give him some space so he can finish that up. I'm also going to save that for a little bit later because he's in and out of the garage. I don't want to be in his way, so we are going to move on to William's room. There's not a whole lot going on in his room other than his clothes in his dresser and his closet. There's a lot of random stuff in his closet. I'm not even sure what's all in there. Now this closet has just been really a dumping zone for a lot of things. We do store a lot of like diapers and wipes and clothes that are hand-me-downs from Theo that he's going to grow into in this closet, but there's also random things like a swing, there's um, a broken lamp. This room is going to be the nursery for this baby. So we are planning on moving all of William's stuff into the other room soon-ish. I'm gonna get ready uh, in preparation for that. We currently just have a wicker shelf in there to uh, hold stuff because that's the best closet system we had in a pinch. It looks great. So we're going to keep that in there and just see what we all have stored away.
Okay, closets done. We do have a few piles. We've got some donations. We have some keepsakes. We have some items that just need to be taken downstairs to storage. And then some baby items that need to be taken downstairs to storage. Bye. Have fun. Now that we have completed the closet, we're gonna move on to the clothes. Now, all of his clothes are in this drawer, including his pajamas. He does have like overalls and a couple sweaters hanging up, but that's it. Everything else is in here. And I know for a fact, there are a number of pieces in here that he, I don't think he's ever worn. For some reason, I have a hard time getting rid of baby clothes and kids clothes. Um, but I'm gonna try and just be really honest with myself and, and just get rid of anything that he hasn't worn. ended up it is so much emptier in here this is great this is a pile of donations and this is the pile of clothes that are too small that we are going to save for the next baby I've always wanted to hang the swing up here but we just never did so after Zach is finished up in that room I'm gonna ask him to come in here and hang this up if not for William, at least for the next baby. While I'm here, I'm going to rotate this guy out with this one. The kids don't have a lot of toys in their rooms, but what they do have, I like to switch out every once in a while to keep it fresh and interesting. The next space we're going to work on is the linen closet. It's this teeny tiny little closet here in our hallway. There's actually not a lot in it. We don't have a lot of extra linen. So this, is, this is Eloise's hiding spot. This is where uh, I store my sewing machine and stuff like that too. We've got like camping blankets and things like that in here. So we're going to just pull everything out, assess what we have because I'm pretty sure there's like scrap fabrics and things in here that like shouldn't be in here. This isn't where they belong. We've got towels. There's a picture frame down here. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just take everything up. fabrics, donations, tablecloths, towels, we mostly use those in summertime for swimming, pillowcases and spare blankets, we use these for camping or when our kids are sick to use as protective covering for our furniture. So now we're gonna start putting everything back in. Okay, now the next spot we have to tackle is our bedroom. There isn't a whole lot in here. We don't have to do the closet. That was actually episode one of this whole series. We've been able to maintain it since then and it still looks nice and neat and clean and decluttered. This is camera equipment, mostly, which is Zach's territory. I'm not gonna touch that as well as his nightstand. That's his stuff. I'll let him take care of that. I do wanna tackle my nightstand as well as what is underneath the bed. Underneath our bed, we have two large totes. One of them has bedding and linens, and the other one has out of season kids' clothes and like our out of season shoes. Right now, it's winter, obviously, so we have our sandals in this bin, and we've got rain jackets and sneakers. And ballerina shoes. Ballerina shoes hats. My goal is to get rid of this linen bin completely. I only ever reach in here when I'm, I need like a flat sheet as a backdrop for a birthday party. Since we have so much room in the linen closet, I'm going to just reserve a few of these flat sheets, put them in there, and then we shouldn't need this at all. How much of this actually fits your face? My goodness. 
William's not gonna be able to wear these shoes anymore. I'll have to save those for the next baby. things we are storing away, and things we are donating. Okay, next on the list is the bathroom. We only have to do this bathroom because I did deep clean the main bathroom and decluttered it last weekend when I took care of that stuff, but I did not do this and I did not do this. So we're gonna do that today. have a garbage bag full of mostly old expired products. We are completely decluttered in here. We're not fully organized yet. I'm gonna have to go to like Dollarama, HomeSense, somewhere where I can find more like organizing compartments. But we are decluttered and that feels amazing. We got lost done yesterday. It is the next day. Today our focus is going to be the two biggest projects of this declutter and that is the mudroom slash laundry room as well as the kids room slash closet. Zach is busy working on finishing up the trim inside the closet. He's giving it a coat of paint and once that's dry we can start assembling our Ikea units and getting that all figured out. So while he's busy with that, I am going to start in the mud room. Now, I was gonna tidy this room up a little bit before I started filming but then I realized, you know what? Look, this is just how it is. This is real life. This room is a mess 98% of the time because this is the dumping grounds. This is where we come in from the garage. This is where laundry gets done. This is where our coats hang. This is kind of like our main entrance into the house. Things gather here and then just sit here for months on end. And if I'm not really on top of making sure this place is tidy, 
it looks like this. Projects today in this room include going through the coat closet and decluttering it, going through these baskets on the top shelf and seeing what exactly is all in there, and then taking care of the junk pile that has accumulated on the dryer. We've got things like returns that need to be packaged up and shipped away. We've got random things that just need to be taken into the van or into the garage or that need to be put away properly. And so I'm just gonna take care of all of that today. this room clean. Surfaces are tidied up. We have a bit of a blank slate to start working here. I'm going to start in the closet. All of the coats that we own are in this closet aside from there's like a, a hook rail here with the kids in season jackets. In winter we each have two pairs of jackets. We have a nice winter like really warm cozy jacket and then a fancier like Sunday jacket. So the kids in season jackets hang on the hooks down here and our jackets are in here as well as the out of season coats. I know for a fact there are a number of coats that Zach owns that I own that we never ever reach for so we can donate a few of those. Um, I need to make sure that the shoes are all making sense down here because they're often like a mumble jumble and I know for a fact there are a number of boots and shoes down here that are not in season that should be put under our bed with the rest of the out of season shoes. I mean, this is our shoe rack situation. It is the same rickety old cheap shoe rack we've had ever since we were first married. <laughs> It's obviously not the most ideal for a family of five, so I want to just make sure there's not too many shoes in here taking up unnecessary space. We usually store our diaper bag here on the bottom as well. And then up here, this is where we store things like toques, mittens, accessories, and I don't know why we have life jackets in there. The easiest way for me to tackle a small space like this is to honestly just take everything out, go through it, and then put everything back in. to my laundry station. When we were picking up jars for the pantry makeover, which if you haven't seen yet, I'll leave that link below because it's an insane transformation. I also had in mind that I wanted to put some of my laundry products in jars as well, so I picked up a few extra of these. I already started. This is my oxygen boost. This is my laundry detergent. Um, so now I'm gonna put things like borax, uh, powder laundry detergent, washing soda into jars like this so it's all cohesive. I don't use those products very often, but I do use them for stripping my laundry, and so instead of having them all in random boxes, I'm gonna put them in jars.
laundry room is done and it feels so good. While I was busy doing all of this stuff, Zach was busy building these Trofast units from Ikea. This is our makeshift closet system that we came up with. Right now all their clothes are in here and it works great, but William is going to be moving into this room the next number of months. So his bed's going to go here, which means there's going to be no room for this and that's not going to be enough room for his clothes as well. So we need to make good use of this closet. Now because this closet is quite small, this was the only system that would actually fit in here and it barely fits. Like we had to take the closet door off in order to make this work, but ooh, look at that. It's the perfect fit. So we're not going to have a closet door, at least until this system is no longer in use, but that's okay because honestly, a closet door just sounds like pinched fingers to me. My thought is there'll be one column for each child. The bigger ones will be like shirts and pants, and then the smaller ones will be socks, underwear, and pajamas. And then we're gonna hang up dresses and sweaters and overalls up here. The only thing is now we need to find a bookshelf for all of their books because their books were stored in here so we're gonna have to figure out something else but for now we're going to focus on the clothes do you want this one this one or this one this one but this column where do you like the shirt even again the shirts go in here oh thanks kids are just uh, having some quiet time here in the bedroom so we may be serenaded by um, <coughs> some, some beautiful some beautiful singing voices over there as you saw I got my kids involved in transferring their clothes over they're really excited about it this looks like a really easy user-friendly system and I think it should work really well you may have noticed that we didn't take the time to fold anything when we were putting them away because we're going to try out the no fold method. I think this will just make it really easy for the kids to put their clothes away and like honestly they pull all their clothes out all the time and then I have to refold them like almost all their clothes almost every single day and it's just not worth it. I want to teach them the value of taking care of their clothes and folding them and how to fold them but I think this is just going to save me a lot of time and it's going to make this a lot easier for them to be able to maintain and organize their own clothes if they don't have to take the time to fold them. But now, I need to go through these and actually declutter because there are a number of clothing pieces that my kids just never reach for, that they have duplicates of and repeats of. You know what, since William isn't in your room yet, we could put some books into these bins for now. Mm. Here. <laughs> We'll figure out a different system when he moves in, but for now, Bob and her. The perfectionist in me is going crazy not folding these clothes right now. I'm fighting everything in me to not fold all these clothes. losing steam but we got that done I have a small pile of donations that I pulled out from this room so far most of what I pulled out from those clothes though I set aside for future babies or for William and I also put all of the extra books into Williams section of bins for now just because he's not in here yet so temporarily books are gonna stay there until we find a bookshelf system the very last thing that I want to do is go through this. The kids have another one of those roll-up bins underneath their bed and it's full of out-of-season clothes. Every year in fall I'll go through their clothes and I'll swap out uh, their summer stuff for their winter stuff and then every year in spring I'll go through their clothes again and flip-flop everything that I need to. So out-of-season clothes end up in this bin 
I'm going to go through and see what still fits them and what doesn't and what doesn't I'm either going to donate or set aside for future babies. I'm going to make a list on my phone of things I'll need to buy for the kids this spring and summer. Just taking note of like how many pairs of shorts each child has, uh, how many tank tops or like summery dresses. Do they need sandals? Do they need runners? Do they need hats? Like making note of all these things so that when it comes time to buying their clothes I know what I need and I'm not just going in blind and buying stuff unnecessarily. We are so close to being done. Done. We have a nice big pile of donations to take away. This is a good amount of stuff. I honestly wasn't expecting to get that much stuff. My main focus was just organizing, but we did manage to find a lot of stuff that we don't need and that we can part with, and that always feels so good. Because I've spent the last two days just going through those rooms deep cleaning and deep organizing them. The rest of our house is a mess. We're going to ignore that for a minute and just give ourselves a little pat on the back for for this. <laughs> but now we have officially, completely decluttered our entire upper level. We do have a basement and we do have stuff down there that could definitely be brought away to the thrift store. We have a whole storage room that really needs a good organizing system. So there might be one more video left in the series, but as of right now, I'm happy to call this a day. I hope you enjoyed this series and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Honestly, I feel like I can always go through our home and find more things to give away because somehow things just accumulate, especially when you have three kids, three birthdays every year, Christmas every year. Like there's just toys accumulate and things accumulate. But I'm gonna sign off. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.